Okay, I'm back. It took a minute or two to save the video, but you know what? I'm going to set a timer so that I don't uh, accidentally go over the 10 minutes, which is the maximum video length or whatever that YouTube lets me upload. So, let's start off here with this editor. You know what? I'm going to need a couple functions. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's see, start off. Um, oh, for those of you do who don't know, um, I'm using VB in the SDI development, which is under Tools, Options, Advanced, SDI Development. That allows me to just simply use variables without declaring them, all, any local variables, and it doesn't make me declare the variables, so it's a time saver. Um, for those of you who have never used that, I highly recommend it. Um, you know what, actually, I think by default all of the uh, tiles should be those little um, pellets. Let's see, 0, 1. So tile A is 1, tile B is 0. That's the actual decoration for that one. And then call draw screen, which don't have yet, haven't made it. Yeah, procedure, draw screen. I'm just going to have it loop through calling draw tile and passing it which tile I want. It's just a habit. I mean, I don't know if it'll apply to this, if this game requires that um, kind of thing, because it's all going to fit on the screen at once. There's no scrolling, but I'll do it anyways. Um, let's see. Make sure I'm to paint picture. Picture 2. Image is where I'm pulling it from. I'm going to be putting it at Z minus 1 times 30, because that's the width of the tile. W minus 1 times 30, it's with 30 and 30. Taking it from tile A time, times 30, and tile B is the other coordinate, 30 and 30. Oops, I should have said call at the front, okay. So if that goes right when I probe, yep, bunch of dots. what I was hoping for. Now, um, I'm going to put in something else here. If Z equals selected A and W equals select B, then um, picture one dot line. And you know what? I'm going to just cut and paste. Wow, the screen is so small compared to what I'm used to. Okay, that's the first coordinate I'm pulling from, and the second coordinate. Um, if you're doing a line, you do comma, comma, B at the end, it makes it a box instead. This will just be going to just Z and W. So if I did this right, select will be 0, 0. It doesn't ex it's off the screen. Uh, we'll show with a green um, line around it. Well, I guess in order to do that, I have to change the four color here to green. I should select, uh, set selected A and selected B, but you know I'm going to do that under the mouse down because mouse down passes you X and Y. See, so I'll say selected A equals integer of X divided by 30, and selected B equals integer of Y divided by 30. That way it'll figure out what tile I'm on. I think I have to do plus one for these. Uh, wait a minute. Got to draw a screen afterwards. Okay. Well, there's more efficient ways to do all these. Okay. But, but, uh, I don't know what. Let's see. Probably just I'm running all this video stuff. I'm using a very old laptop. Uh, let's see, here am I at? Only three minutes, that's not too bad. 
Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I see. Typos. Selected A and selected B. Let's try that. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's drawing it. Oh, uh, you know what the problem here? Let's change the auto redraw to false. And then what we have to do in order to pull that off is that under paint for the picture, we have to say call draw screen. There we go. It was just running slow because I had the auto redraw turned on. I wasn't thinking about that one. Um, yeah, the line's ugly. We could probably say, uh, what, minus one for these. There we go. That way it actually fits. Um, what should we do next here? Can you make this thing full screen here for a minute? Alright, I am going to make this visible just for the sake of doing the editor. Um, and when, a, when I click, no, no, not click, here we go, mouse down on this thing, what I want to do is say, uh, what, temp A equals x divided by 30. I'll do the same kind of idea that I did last time. Just figure out exactly what actual tile I'm clicking on here, which, you know what, I don't need the plus ones because the corner I want to be zero zero. So then I say, oh you know what? Forget using these, I'll just say tile A of selected A selected B equals that. And tile B equals that. Call draw screen. Now you know what? Draw a tile. I'll just save some work. Well let's just see if this works here. Full screen. I click on a tile and I say I want it to look like that, sure enough it works. I pick what I want it to look like. Okay, now, before I go much farther, I need some kind of a, a save button, which I'm just going to toss up here in the corner for now. This is just to save the map. It doesn't even have to look like anything special. I'm just going to say open max map.txt for output as number one. Call it whatever we want, of course. And here we go. Let's just grab this. And we'll say print number one. So we'll just loop through each of these values and dump them into a text file. And then that's it. Um, that sound means I need to save the video. One second.